For thousands of years, spiritual seekers have turned to the practice of fasting as a ritual of purification and enlightenment. Ancient healing traditions from around the world understood fasting as a profound method of holistic rejuvenation on physical, mental, and spiritual levels. Modern research is now confirming what our ancestors knew. Fasting recalibrates the body in ways that unleash incredible healing potential. Let us explore the science and philosophy behind this ancient healing art. Fasting provides deep rest for our digestive organs while freeing up vast amounts of energy normally required for digestion. This energy becomes available to trigger self-healing and tissue regeneration throughout the body. As the digestive system rests, the liver performs a cleanse. Toxins and old cells get purged from tissues. Stem cell production ramps up as the body enters into a heightened state of repair. These effects emerge because fasting shifts the body into a fat-burning state known as ketosis. Our ancestors evolved to thrive in nutritional cycles of feast and famine. Periodic fasting mimics this ancestral cycle of fasting and feeding. It activates beneficial genes and growth factors in our DNA that get suppressed under normal modern eating patterns of constant food intake. Intermittent fasting serves as an ancient trick to reboot and regenerate the body from within. During fasting, several key changes happen. The hormone insulin drops significantly. This allows fat cells to mobilize stored fatty acids for energy. Blood levels of growth hormone increase by as much as five times. This facilitates fat burning and muscle maintenance. The body undergoes ketogenesis, shifting from burning glucose to burning fats and fatty acids in the form of ketone bodies. Ketones provide up to 70% of the brain's energy needs during fasting. Cellular repair processes increase, including autophagy, where cells digest and remove the waste material and proteins needing repair. This cleansing process promotes longevity and health. Gene expression favorably changes. Studies show fasting activates genes responsible for increased resistance to stress and disease. Fasting also reduces overexpression of genes linked to aging and disease. Fasting supports healthy gut microbes. With no incoming food for bacteria to ferment, gut flora rebalances toward a more optimal community for health. By giving digestion a rest, fasting permits our self-healing and restorative capacities to do their magic, bringing us back into balance. The practice of fasting has been prescribed in spiritual texts and traditions worldwide since ancient times. Greek philosophers like Plato, Socrates, Aristotle and Hippocrates all recommended fasting for health and higher states of awareness. The famous ancient Egyptian Ebers Papyrus highlights fasting as a method of healing and rejuvenation. Ayurvedic medicine describes fasting as kindling the digestive fire and burning away impurities. Chinese Taoists used fasting to balance the organs and prolong life. Indigenous cultures also appreciated fasting intuitively. Native Americans would fast before hunts, vision quests, and major life events. Inuit traditions included fasting during times of shortage. African tribal rituals involved fasting for initiation rites and ceremonies. Australian Aborigines would fast for days while traveling in the outback. Nature, it seems, embedded fasting wisdom into the rituals of native peoples worldwide. The Catholic, Buddhist, Hindu, Islamic, Jain, and Orthodox religions later incorporated forms of fasting as spiritual purification. But our modern lifestyles may have abandoned this ancient wellness wisdom until now. Today, scientific research is confirming what our ancestors already knew. 
fasting cleanses and renews us on multiple levels of body, mind, and soul. Fasting allows detoxification on a deep cellular level by providing depleted digestive organs a chance to rest. Toxins get released from adipose tissues as fat reserves get burned for fuel in the absence of new food entering the body. As the gut microflora rebalances, the production of beneficial SCFAs increases, reducing inflammation while supporting the immune system. With energy freed from digesting meals, the liver steps up its natural detoxification processes. The kidneys filter out more waste products from the blood, lowering burdens on these organs. Cellular waste products in tissues are better cleared thanks to autophagy. Even the skin may appear more glowing and radiant as inner purification occurs. Fasting gives your body a break to purge accumulated wastes, old cells, damaged proteins, pathogens and toxins that can make you age prematurely when allowed to fester. Think of fasting as pressing the reset button for your body's natural systems of waste removal and renewal. ketosis, where fat serves as the body's primary fuel source, lies at the heart of fasting's cleansing and healing effects. But ketosis is much more than just fat loss. It's a unique cleansing metabolism with profound health benefits. Unlike glucose, ketones produce far less reactive oxygen species, ROS, and oxidative stress. Ketosis protects against brain aging and neurological disease by enhancing mitochondrial function. Ketones are a more efficient fuel than sugar, yielding more ATP energy per unit. A ketogenic metabolism suppresses inflammation and shifts stem cells from adipogenesis to neurogenesis, regenerating the brain. Cancer cells cannot metabolize ketones due to mitochondrial defects, effectively starving tumors. Ketosis cleanses on multiple levels, from clearing waste products to eliminating cancer risk to stoking stem cell repair. No wonder our ancestors evolved to uptake this superfuel during periods of fasting. There are several evidence-based intermittent fasting protocols shown to activate cleansing ketosis. 16 to 8 method fast for 16 hours per day, eating only during an eight-hour window. This aligns with the natural circadian rhythm, allowing digestion to rest overnight. 24-hour fasts, fast from dinner to dinner one to two times per week, extends the overnight fast more deeply. Alternate day fasting, fast every other day for 24 to 36 hours, allows the body to enter deep ketosis. Water only fasts for two to 21 days or longer, requires more preparation but provides deep cleansing. Periodic routine fasts, such as fasting one week per month or one week per season, allows the body to cleanse regularly. The key is to find an intermittent fasting routine that is sustainable long-term, not just a quick fix diet. Our ancestors fasted intuitively. We can reclaim this ancestral cycling between fasting and feeding by adopting intermittent fasting as a periodic cleansing ritual. Preparation is key to having a successful fasting experience. Here are some tips. Gradually taper down meals and food intake in the days before fasting. This eases the transition. Stay well hydrated with purified water, herbal tea, and mineral broths. Proper hydration supports detoxification. Get adequate rest and avoid strenuous exercise during a fast. Conserve your energy for healing. Take time off work and minimize stress if possible. Fasting requires deep rest. Supplement if needed with electrolytes, vitamins, and minerals. Support your nutritional reserves. Break a prolonged fast gradually with gentle foods. Avoid heavy foods or overeating. 
keep a positive mental attitude through self-affirmations and spiritual practices. Intention matters. Proper preparation and support during a fast can make all the difference in having a rejuvenating experience. When fasting, understanding the stages and possible experiences during a fast allows you to be prepared. 12 to 24 hours, the switch to burning fat and glycogen stores begins. Mild hunger and food cravings are common. Two to three days, the body enters full ketosis. Hunger and cravings usually decrease. Possible irritability and headaches as electrolytes adjust. Three to five days, Heavy ketosis suppresses appetite. Mental clarity improves as toxins clear. Purification symptoms may arise like skin breakouts or mucoid plaque elimination. Temporary fatigue or lightheadedness can occur if detoxing too rapidly. One to three weeks, deeper cleansing and renewal. Profound healing but requires more support. Dizziness, arrhythmias and profound weakness indicates the fast should be broken. Understanding the stages provides guidance on what to expect physically and spiritually during a fast. Supporting the process with rest, water, and mindfulness leads to revitalization. Those new to fasting should start with shorter fasts and work up gradually. It's equally important to break a fast properly. Here are some tips. Do not overeat when breaking a fast, even if ravenously hungry. Gradually reintroduce portions. Sip water or non-sugar tea first. Then start with gentle foods like fruits, vegetables, yogurt. Slowly progress from lighter to heavier foods. Avoid heavy animal proteins, processed foods, or sugar at first. Chew food extremely well and eat slowly. The shrunken stomach needs time. Fasting has long been used for spiritual growth due to shifts in awareness that occur as the body detoxifies. Clarity of mind improves as toxic overloads reduce. With energy less focused on digestion, consciousness can turn within, bringing heightened intuition. As cravings fade, attachments loosen their grip. Freed from input, senses become more attuned to subtle energies. One achieves mastery over the body instead of vice versa. Fasting develops willpower and the sense of spirit over flesh. Fasting often mirrors an internal process of shedding old layers to reveal one's deeper self. The pure state that emerges is believed to be more receptive to spiritual truths. For this reason, many religions prescribe fasting before rituals, rites, or holy days. The hunger reminds devotees of their faith while purifying mind and body to receive divine energy. Pilgrimages, vision quests, and meditative retreats often incorporated fasting for this reason. Silence, Solitude and detachment allow inner realms to open up. Toxins accumulate in our bodies from food, water, air, medications, alcohol, and environmental exposures. Our detoxification systems can become overburdened. Fasting gives these systems a break so they can catch up on the backlog. The liver, kidneys, skin, lungs, and colon all increase elimination of wastes that may have built up in tissues for years. As the body uses stored nutrients, chemicals like pesticides or medications that were lodged in fat cells get liberated. With gut rest, inflammation subsides and microbial balance improves. Signs you may be detoxifying include headaches, fatigue, muscle aches, skin eruptions, runny nose, coughing, sweating, nausea, diarrhea, vomiting, bad breath and discolored tongue coating. These symptoms usually pass in a few days. Staying hydrated, resting and opening elimination channels can help. Consult a doctor if they concern you.
fasting is safe for most people, but side effects can include hypoglycemia, low blood sugar, causes shakiness, weakness, confusion. Consuming herbal tea, mineral supplements, or a small snack can help. Electrolyte imbalance, headaches, fatigue, muscle cramps. Supplement with mineral broth, electrolytes, dehydration, dry mouth, dizziness, drink more pure water, orthostatic hypotension, dizziness upon standing, rise slowly and stabilize yourself, gallstone pain, stones can get flushed out and cause biliary colic, seek medical care if severe. Most side effects are avoidable with proper fasting guidance and preparation. Those new to fasting should start slowly and only progress with care. While most people can safely fast, there are some exceptions. Malnourished or underweight people, children under 12, pregnant or breastfeeding women, those with gout or high uric acid, individuals with eating disorders, people with advanced diabetes or blood sugar issues, those on medication, consult your doctor, people with liver or kidney disease, low blood pressure, ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. People with health conditions should get medical guidance before fasting. Start cautiously and only if your body responds well. Fasting should become a lifelong habit integrated into your lifestyle to enjoy the full benefits. Here are tips. Find a fasting routine that works sustainably for your schedule. Please don't overdo it. Keep fasts occasional, no more than two to three times per week for daytime fasts. Plan fasting periods around times of rest and relaxation. Stay occupied with light activities, reflection or meditation during fasts. Break fasts gently without overeating or eating junk foods. Hydrate well and supplement if needed. Track fasting in a journal. Note mental and physical changes. Combine fasting with grounding activities like time in nature, massage and sauna. By making fasting a regular ritual, you honor your body's ancient wisdom while benefiting from this ancestral wellness practice. In conclusion, fasting offers a holistic path to healing and wholeness. Physically, it activates cleansing mechanisms for cellular renewal and regeneration. Mentally, it brings clarity and heightened awareness. Emotionally, it releases attachments and compulsions. Spiritually, it cultivates self-realization and unity with the sacred. Fasting illuminates the way to mastery of body, mind and soul. It is a practice handed down through generations because it works. If done correctly, fasting allows us to reclaim our vitality and maximize our human potential. Listen to your body's wisdom. Your innate capacity to heal will guide you if you create space through fasting. May your path of intermittent fasting be one of rejuvenation and renewal.